everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and here on this channel we talk about writing, journaling, and productivity to help you curate a life that you love. Okay, so first of all, sorry if there is an echo. This room has not much in it. <laughs> um, this is actually my new office space. You're only going to get to see this like back part here. I will be making a office like setup video which I'm super excited about so stay tuned for that. But for to, to oh gosh, okay. But for today, um, I wanted to go ahead and talk about this moon, to the moon and back journal, artistic journal spread. It's been a while, been a hot minute since I filmed, so apologies for all the stuttering and the weirdness that comes with this. Also, I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet, so that's why we're just going to call it a moon spread for the time being. So before we get into this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more artistic journaling and journaling tips like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the making of this spread. Alright, so here we are. We're going to do this moon scrapbook spread. I actually decided to keep this one in full time rather than speeding it up because there was actually a lot of downtime for this spread because I was very limited on the construction paper that I had. I only had so much black construction paper and then I was also very limited on this like graph grid paper. I printed it off from Canva because I don't actually have any grid paper which I desperately need to buy some very soon but so because I only had so many materials I was kind of limited and I spent so much time trying to tear things and cut things to the appropriate sizes to fit in this journal spread so that is why we're doing it in real time. I wanted to talk a little bit about why I chose to do this spread. First, I've been wanting to experiment more with blank space and this was a perfect spread to do so because as you may know if you've been here for a while, I don't really like to keep everything so blank. I love to make things more cluttered and more filled up, if you will. Um, but for this, I really wanted to branch out a bit and try something different. So I went ahead and I have a lot of blank space in this particular spread, um, which I do fill up sort of with like a pen. It's not very journal heavy. In fact, this one is more artistic than journal heavy, um, but I do think it turned out pretty well in the end, which we'll, we'll get to that. So yes, um, a lot of the photos and images that I'm using here are from Canva, except for the construction paper. I don't know where the construction paper is from, but it is just plain black construction paper. Uh, I found it in my little art organization storage thing, and I was like, that'll be great, because originally I was going to paint some paper, but that almost never works. So yeah, I will be painting a spread coming up soon, like painting the pages, and I'll let you know how that goes, because I haven't done that in a while. Um, so yeah, in my experience, paint usually crinkles the page. It makes it very wrinkly and difficult to use. Um, so unless you use like specific paint paper, which my journal isn't. Um, and then otherwise, you know, it's just easier to use scrapbook paper and just construction paper, stuff like that. So here I'm just trying to layer the black with the grid paper and I'm adding quite a bit of black. I added more, I think, than I originally intended, um, which is interesting because I was so limited on the paper that I had, but I had a lot of trouble, like I said, like cutting things to size. And I mean, you only get one shot when you only have so much paper. I had like a half a sheet maybe, I don't know, I don't remember. But um, I did do that. And then I have this moon, some stars, and if you can see off in that little side over there on the right side, I have a new pen, which I will link down below. I forget the name of it right now, but it is a white pen. So it's like a white paint marker type of thing. I got it from Michaels and I was so excited. I literally bought it for this spread and then also for a few other spreads because I've been needing like a nice white marker. So I did use that, um, but you'll see kind of how that goes as well. I, again, I'll link it below. I think it's great if you use it on like regular paper, but for whatever, for whatever reason, construction paper just, it didn't absorb very well. So I did have to go back and paint, which when we get further in the video, <laughs> you'll see the difference between the initial spread and what I ended up doing later. So to keep with this like astrological sort of, you know, <laughs> space theme, I have a solar system little graphic at the bottom, which I kind of just mimicked a design that was on uh, Canva because I was gonna print one out, but it, I didn't print it big enough, so I ended up just drawing it. And then I also have the moon up in the corner, and then I'm putting down all these little stars with a little bit of 
uh, glue, so my glue pen was very handy for this. And then I wrote, I love you to the moon and back. And the way that I got this font here is I basically typed out a font on uh, Canva and then I just kind of copied the, the style, if that makes sense. I'm really bad at calligraphy and handwriting and such. So I have to kind of, I'm really good at mimicking photos and mimicking art. So I can kind of copy by just looking at something, but to create my own calligraphy, I just, for whatever reason, I struggle with it. I don't have a lot of experience. So as you can see, those stars are very faint, which like I said, I will go over it later. I also used a white pencil, like colored pencil to help out with that. And then I did write a few more quotes on the sides. If you wanna see this particular spread in more detail, you can check out my Instagram. I did post it like a long time ago because as I'm recording this voiceover, it has been a month. I think since I filmed this particular spread and a big reason for that is just because of everything that happened in July and the moving and such. I'm still not fully unpacked as I record this so yeah but anyway coming up soon you will see the final flip through and we will go over more details. Alright and that was the making of this moon astrological kind of dreamy <laughs> spread. I tried very hard to experiment with something a bit different, something that isn't as layered and as complicated as what I normally do. I tried to keep it more simplistic and I even tried this new uh, white pen which I really loved. It didn't work so well on construction paper but I have used it in a previous video which um, I'll link up here. I forget which one it was but I did use it I have used it since then and I absolutely love it. It works great on regular paper, but I would recommend something different if you are using this on uh, construction paper. In other news, um, this spread, honestly, it feels weird because it's been a month since I have done it, but I ended up really enjoying the way it turned out and I think it kind of pushed me and now that I'm looking back on it, it's one of those spreads that it just feels right for the timing and the way that things are going right now, so yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to this final flip through where I redid and touched up this white paint color. So hopefully you guys can see the stars a little bit better and uh, yeah, I hope you like it. All right, and this is not the full finished product, but it is what I filmed when I initially did this. I have my quotes, I have the stars, um, but coming up, I'll be playing some music with a little bit of a camera rollover so you guys can see the finished product with the white paint that I used to make the stars. And that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoy these artistic journal spreads. If you ever have any theme ideas that you want me to try out, go ahead and comment below because I am super excited to do more of these, especially in my new space once it is set up. So yeah, if you have any ideas, you want me to do more movie or book, scrap scrapbook spreads, then by all means, let me know. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. So thank you again and I'll see you next time.